What's up everyone, TechLoud here and in this video I'm going to show you Dread Trigger 2 game running on Samsung Galaxy S5 and I'm using my Moga Pro controller on the request of a subscriber he actually advised that uh, it's better to use the Moga controller instead of uh, using the fingers because it will be able to show the screen better so let's uh, start the game and uh, let's see how it runs I didn't actually get the time to set up the keys for Moga Pro controller anyways uh, I will check uh, during the gameplay that what are the keys Okay, the key is working fine. Move area is also working fine. Why this is not going away? Okay, that's fine now. navigation okay that's fine let's move on the game does not uh, seems to run as smooth as it was running on HTC One M8 Oh, it's getting better. Yeah, it's now running fine. Now the door is open. Mission complete. Let's continue to the next uh, mission and uh, at the start of the, actually the first mission I find that the frame rates were actually a little bit slower but it improved uh, slightly as the game progressed but still uh, it is not uh, seems to run somehow as smooth as uh, I have seen on uh, M8 let me check the uh, graphics settings actually uh, go to options then go to performance yeah it's on high just like the HTC One M8 I'm trying
Come on, why you are standing here? Wow. Nice. Nothing actually beats the physical controller. The game becomes much more easier to play and much more uh, enjoyable as well. But some some of the games are actually much better to play using the touch screen. Oh really? So guys I hope uh, that you have liked the video thanks for watching and subscribe for more gaming videos like that take care and I will see you in some next video bye